can never ever find the right words and there's no way this is real life there's no telling you What's up guys? Welcome back to welcome back to another video and today we're actually taking the 650 out We're gonna be fixing every little flaw. So today I have planned we're gonna head to the BMW We're gonna pick up the new key that'll allow me to unlock everything on the car Hopefully we're gonna fix the headlights We're gonna fix the sensors and then hopefully if we still got time I can take it out of the shop and hopefully get the AC working as well because that belt It's a stretch belt the tool costs more than the labor just getting it done And I don't think I'm gonna ever use the tool again So I'm just gonna take it to a shop hopefully a local one hopefully they can hook it up and then that should be literally everything anyway Anyway guys, uh, I'd like to dedicate this time to give a huge special shout out to for those of you guys who contributed to the build. So I'd just like to give a huge special shout out to Eve Wilson, Dari Martinez, Matthew Gaines, and Alexander Wetson. So shout out to all you guys. Thank y'all so much for supporting the channel. If you guys want to support the channel, make sure to check out that first link down below. Spend $20 or more, you guys will be featured on the plaque and uh, you guys are about to notice this is the last day to enter. So yeah, you guys heard it. So I already created a plaque, it's up there. So those of you guys' names are already up there. Those of you guys who spent $20 or more and I'm gonna be part of the 650i plaque as soon as I get it made. I'm actually about to put up the 100k plaque today. So there's a lot getting done in this video. Actually, there's a lot, a lot. Let's just go ahead and take all the stuff. Let's head down to the shop. Well, first BMW and then the shop. Oh, but maybe we need to get some Chipotle. Anyway, we got a lot to do. All right, guys, let's just go ahead and give it a quick little start. Morning cold start on a 4.8 V8. Not bad, not bad. All right, let's go ahead, close the garage. All right. Let's head on our journey. So yeah, PDC sensor malfunction, and then at any moment now, it's gonna say daytime running, which we have the module in the trunk, so we should be good. Oh my God, this is such a beautiful car. I cannot wait for the AC to work. This car would be absolutely perfect. And this steering wheel really makes all the difference, guys. Let me go to problem with seatbelt. I don't know what I'm what I'm doing, but seatbelts are really important, and uh, they save lives, all right? So, BMW. All right, guys, pulling up to Nilo BMW. I haven't seen that color around for the 4 Series. It actually looks pretty good, not gonna lie. Is it like a turquoise? I'm not sure. Looks like somebody turned in their Camry and they upgraded. Good for them. Well, actually, that was a Corolla, but anywho. Let's hopefully pick up the last piece that we need to make everything work on this car. So, uh, yep. All right, guys, I need to get a thumbnail, but uh, basically, as you guys can see, this is the new key right here with the cutout, because you guys can see my current key never had the cutout. So, uh, hope to God, this actually, I'm about to do it right now, actually, just check it out. Let's just put the key together. Let's go ahead and try it out. So, I think right here, I have no idea, I need to look it up on YouTube, but I think this is the valet, and this locks everything, including the center armrest, which is like, if you guys seen, to open this, I kind of have to force it up and I, it barely goes up. So I think it's locked. So let's hope to God if I unlock this, this will work. And if I unlock this, the trunk should work. I know I'm going to have to use this emergency strap right there. So here is the key, guys. So uh, moment of truth, please, God. Oh. Okay, I heard this unlock. Oh, my God. Check that out, guys. <laughs> no way. Okay, let's go ahead and see if the trunk works. All right, little moment of truth. Oh my god, I heard it unlock. You're lo I'm done. Best 60 bucks I ever spent. So yeah, guys, if your if your if your trunk is just not working, your center console, everything is locked on this car, it's because of the key. And I wish it came with the car, but regardless, $60 is not that bad. It's not the end of the world. And now everything works on this car. I was gonna get a trunk lock and all that stuff, but luckily I decided, you know what, I need the key regardless. So let's go ahead and go with that. And hopefully it's just locked in it. Yeah, it was. So perfect. All right, I guess for celebration, I mean, regardless, I was gonna get Chipotle, but just to celebrate a half Chipotle meal. Oh my God, I can't believe this actually works now. I'm so happy. I need to get a thumbnail. Let's head down to the shop. Damn, what's going on, brother? <laughs> Damn, it looks crazy. We are going down to BMP right now. I'm gonna ask him how much it costs to install this belt. And I might be telling me, Nor, come on, dude, come on, you can do it. To be honest, I can. The tool cost, it's like very like the tool is very specific to this car, and the cost of it is just not worth it. It's like the cost of getting somebody to do it. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and ask and see what happens. They told me that uh, basically the boss is in here and they can't give me a quote just yet. But it also requires a lift to put on this belt. That's how hard this belt is. So anyway, let's head down to the shop and uh, go ahead and fix everything else and just have like the AC to be the last thing to pretty much touch up this car. I know I'm excited. So let's go ahead and just put back this car. I'm super happy all the locks are working. Um, that was like a huge thing that I was super scared for. And at the same time, while getting all the locks to work, now we have the full key set, which is perfect. So 60 bucks is really not a bad deal. Anywho, let's head down to the shop. Uh, I'm gonna get something to eat. I already have my Chipotle. Let's eat 
that since it's hot and kept it warm and then we'll go ahead and uh go ahead and transform this beast guys check that out that is uh why your man's addicted and this is the 100k special plaque that I made for you guys. These are all the people that helped contribute in the first, I think, week or two of the 100k drop. So shout out to everyone here. <sighs> Let's go ahead and mount this thing up. Alright guys, so this is the 100k special. I actually have my 100k plaque at home. I might be bringing that as well, but uh, it's coming together. So we have the M3 build. We have the 335 build. So again, shout out to all these people for contributing to the build. I'm actually going to add the 650i one right here. Um, so yeah, pretty much this is what I have so far. If you guys want to take a look at it. If you guys want to be a part of it, make sure to cop something down below. $20 or more would be featured on the plaque but yeah shout out to everyone here for the 100k this was long awaited but it's finally here all right guys so now that we got the car in here so we have a few things we got to do to this car unfortunately the ac belt we're gonna have to get done another day currently the shop the owner of the shop is not there and they're very busy they're actually fixing sears car which i should be getting into down the road something really bad happened to this car but i expect y'all later as for now we're gonna, gonna have to, we have to remove this bumper because of the pdc for some reason like the front pdc or something like that is just not getting any connection since the front's not getting any connection front and rear are not working so we're gonna have to go ahead and take off the harness and inspect it because I do think something something has to do with the harness. It's saying that this one in particular is malfunctioning. So uh, we're gonna check the wiring on that. We already replaced the sensor, so clearly it's not the sensor, it's the wiring. And then also while we have the bumper off, we're gonna go ahead and remove this headlight uh, and go ahead and replace that daytime running module. So you got the module right here. Uh, we just picked it up from eBay. Use one. It should work just fine. Should be able to just install and it should just work. So these guys are for the fog lights. And like I told y'all, I don't think I'm going to stick with fog lights. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and just kind of do a fog light delete on both sides. I already got the codes out, but I just want to do a fog light delete. So uh, we have one bracket to do a template off of. And then we're just going to go ahead and just bolt it on or 3M it on and it should be good. Let's just get to it. ahead and got the two templates cut out from this guy so we are good to go on that once we get the bumper off to install the new pdc and fix the harness we'll go ahead and install these as well and that should complete that front end bumper since this car is lower now it's actually a pain to get it on the lift just to remove the bumper so what i'm gonna do is just go ahead and move it forward a little bit jack up from the side and just go ahead and remove the bumper i think that'll be a whole lot easier and also that way we can actually set the bumper on the ground we don't have to remove the bumper completely because of all those uh all the washer lines for these uh, stupid nozzles and then also the pdc so we can actually let the bumper sit on the ground without needing to unplug anything and actually remove that headlight and replace that module. So anyway, we're going on a full time lapse mode. I hope you guys enjoy. Guys, that's just so weird. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. It's working now, but we're at the shop. So let's just go ahead and permanently fix that problem. So now that we got the bumper off, let's go ahead and just move it a little bit and uh, figure out what's going on with the PDC. And then we're going to get to that headline a little bit, but let's figure out what's going on with the PC. I'm hoping to see a wire cut because that would be pretty ideal. I actually realized that this sensor wasn't even connected and that's because we, we wrapped the bumper and I assumed that we took it off but uh, after we replaced this it still wasn't working so I went ahead and followed this from the wire it looks good went ahead and followed this wire and then I actually found out right here I don't know if you guys can see that there's a wire literally spliced right there so we just have to literally put that back together and I think we should have a solid connection and we should be good so let's go ahead and just repair that real quick <laughs> All right, guys, now that we got that sensor hooked up, let's go ahead and see in the car if the sensors work. I'm going to go ahead and leave this right up front. Uh, if I'm gonna, probably in front of one of the sensors just to see if anything happens. And here, keys in the car. Let's go ahead and try it. Thankfully, guys, the key was the very easy fix to get the trunk to work and the center armrest. Let's hope to God that wire was the only issue causing the PDC. There might be another wire cut. It's possible, but let's hope for the best here. Okay, okay, okay. So you're getting a PDC malfunction, okay. Oh wait, the PDC function went. Guys, check that out, it's working now. Hell yeah, front and rear. If one sensor goes bad, none of this works. So uh, I think that's pretty, that's mission accomplished. She works really well considering there's only one line in front of, oh, I guess that car is super close too, but uh, anywho. I'm super happy. So we got that fixed. And actually on the dash, as of now, you guys can see there's no lights. Let me go and put on my seatbelt. This is the most satisfying part about any rebuild. Check that out. No lights. Let's go ahead and go over here. Go to info sources, service info, check control. All systems are okay. And the car is on, guys. So let me go ahead and flip through all the lights just to show you guys that, you know, if any of the lights were broken, it would throw up an error. 
So I think that is a real big mission accomplished. My neck is super red, so don't worry about that. It's a little bit, um, I think I'm like allergic to something. It's, it happened twice now, so I have to figure that out. So don't worry about me, I'll figure it out. I'll be alive, don't worry. But I'm gonna go ahead and do the fog light delete with those panels, I'm gonna go ahead and install those. And actually, it's saying all systems are okay, and uh, that bolt, the daytime running light is working, but I'm gonna go ahead and replace the module, just so if I end up selling it, the next owner is not gonna be screwed over. I might know how to do it, and I have the part, maybe the next owner doesn't know how to do it, and I, I don't wanna, I don't wanna do that to the next owner. So let's go ahead and just go through the trouble and replace the daytime running module. And then this car is literally perfect other than the AC. That is awesome. We got a lot of the major things fixed recently, the trunk, we got the roof, and now just the AC and uh, no lights on the dash, guys. I'm super stoked. The car, it has passed smogged. I do have the title on hand. This is looking really good, really promising. At this point, you know, God bless. Now, I wish this was the module we needed to replace, but the one that we need to replace is this one right here. And I think you have to remove the entire headlight, yeah, to get to that module right down there. So, uh, damn. It'll be like that, I guess. There's a screw down there, screw up here, two screws over there. Let's go ahead and just take them all out and hope to God this won't be a, too hard of a repair. Talk to me, baby. I've been waiting for a lifetime. Just keep on fading. Could just remove all the bulbs and uh, make it easier on me, but I'm just going to go to. I'm just gonna go ahead and just remove the couple screws here, remove the module, swap it out, and just put it right back in. I don't wanna remove all the wiring. I kinda wanna just leave it. It makes life easier. So yeah, let's go ahead and replace that module, and uh, hopefully we have absolutely zero lights and we didn't finesse anything. This is all legit. That's what matters. All right, guys, I really don't know if that captured it all, but anyways, I went ahead, replaced the module, Here's the old module. I guess you can see it's a little corroded in there. So uh, let's go ahead and give it a start and see if that headlight works. If that headlight works, I'm pretty sure that's gonna stay working because it is a new module. So let me go ahead and replace the camera on the battery and then uh, let's go check. Any lights on the dash, question mark? And, okay, there is an error. Oh, nope, never mind, there isn't an error. Uh, let's just check right here, make sure the system info, check control, all systems are okay, perfect. Okay, let's go ahead and just make sure. Is the, day yep, daytime running light is working, guys, and it's actually brighter, I can already tell. Actually, these are both even now. So halos are both working, daytime running lights are both working, and the actual turn signals, everything's working, no errors on the dash. This engine bay is filthy. We're gonna go ahead and just wipe it down, and then we're gonna go ahead and install the fog light delete, so uh, yeah, let's get to it. I mean, darling, it's been quiet for a day. Alright guys, so we went ahead and just dusted the engine bay, put in these little, uh, you know, fog light deletes, which pretty much completes our front end, makes, makes it look like there's nothing actually missing. All the headlights work now, thankfully. No lights on the dash. The trunk, everything unlocks. The roof actually closes. The car is smogged and registered. So, I guess at this point, the only thing this thing needs, other than a lot more cosmetic things to make it look a lot better, is just AC. That's it. Like, honest to God, hopefully nothing else goes wrong. But I'm pretty sure I fixed every major thing with this car. Did all the maintenance from belts to fluids to filters. Did everything on this car. Even cleaned out everything. So, I'm really happy at how far this car has come. Remember, if you guys want to be part of the 650i plaque, I think I'm going to make this episode the last last episode to be part of that plaque, so make sure to check out that link down below. Spend $20 or more, you can either buy a shirt, you can buy jet tags, air fresheners, anything you guys want, and you guys will be featured on the plaque, which will be on this wall. I just put up the 100K one, hopefully I'll be putting up the 650i one in the next video. Anywho, uh, let me go ahead and get this thing washed up, because it needs a good wash, I can tell you that. All right guys, so I just took out the trash, um, but this is how you close the door in GTA. Gotta go ahead and put it in drive, gas it. And just like that, boys. <laughs> so that's how you close the door. These photos caught in the memories and captured in the highlights Just keep on wasting Go ahead and just vacuum up the car real quick It's a little bit dirty, you know, here, 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 and there And, uh, you know, why not just clean it up while we're here They got the best vacuums in town, so, you know, why not? And just like that, guys, car is looking super clean Sensors are working, no lights on the dash, just head home And, uh, we made it to the end of the video Like, you see my mouth, don't worry about that Anywho, I'd just like to give a huge special shout out to everybody Who's been supporting this build This build has come such a long way This isn't the end of this build, hopefully The car is going up for sale But only at a price that I'd be willing to give it up Because I do want to start this whole BMW collection 
collection and I'm actually trying to pick up a car that you guys probably think I would never buy. So that's happening also pretty damn soon. Actually, the paperwork might be going through soon. Anyhow, if you guys want to see what car I get next, make sure to let me know down below and I might even just make a video of getting the car or make a video of like what cars I should get. Give you guys a few options. Just go after the car that you guys want me to build next. But anywho, I'm keeping this car if I don't get the price I want. But if I get the price I want, I'll let it go. I'm thinking about pricing it at 5500 and that's actually pretty cheap. But the only reason I'm putting it at 5500 it has no lights, no issues. Everything's solid, past small registration. I have the pink slip. Everything's good to go and paid for. Only reason I'm selling for 55 is because it has 177,000 miles and it is a salvage title. As of how the car sits, it's absolutely perfect. Runs amazingly. But since mileage is a huge factor, I do have to consider that in the pricing but again if I don't get that price I like my other cars I usually just try to sell it for whatever I can get and move on to the next bill Thankfully God has blessed me with the opportunity that I'm able to keep the car and build more for you guys So God bless anywho guys stay safe. I love you all so much. Remember to stay humble I see you guys in the next one. Peace out and remember uh, the last day to enter for the 650i plaque link down below